you guys um i'm just going to film a really quick um updated flip so i've been in this for a month now um this is my moterm personal rings in the pebble pink it is very thick i cannot close it so um that's because of this notebook otherwise i can close it it's very chunky so i'm just gonna do a quick little flip um not a lot has changed i've added some deco that's pretty much it so in this pocket i still have my favorite paper clips and i have a washi card from the planner society kit and i laminated a picture of my daughters and i so that's in the front um i still have stickers here but the only thing different is this is from the may kit so i took the other ones out and um for the planner society and i still have the same stickers in here which are the fruity sticker co because i love her shop it's so amazing and it's so affordable so i get all my stickers from there i have some receipts here um and yeah some this is a letter from my husband um and then this is just some stickers from the fruity sticker co and this dashboard is like um i messed it up but i like it so much that i like the color and the print there so i still have this in the front this is laminated i put some new sticky notes these are freebies um this is a freebie from paper shire so i just printed out on sticky notes they are not sticking very well i'll be honest that's kind of annoying um these are from the peanuts planner co these are to buy ones and to do checklists here is um, my Filofax uh, year on a page, important dates from Peanuts Planner Co. Still in the front, monthlies, which are filled to the brim with appointments and stuff, so I'm not gonna share them. But there's an empty one. I like these tabs, they're from the Planner Society kit. There's an empty one here, but I punched it wrong. Um, I'm still using the same reoccurring tasks from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, I added these freebies. Um, let me see if I can see the name real quick. I can't. It's Liz Halla's plans or Luna. I can't even see that. It's so white. Um, can't really see that on this color. Um, and this is a die cut from the Planner Society kit. So um, I added some SM Plan sticky notes. That's a picture of my husband and I. And to buy is still here in the front stores to buy size chart gift ideas this is a freebie from us and plans um and just finances that i haven't really been using but i did start to use a savings plan from um goodness what is it called from i don't know there's no name on the shop but it's really pretty um if someone remembers, you can write that. I can't remember. I just got these two, but it's a really good shop. So it's even got this pretty savings um, thing. And these are from SM Plans, home management ones. There's some notes in the back. And then I have some planner, planner society paper and we get into my daily section. So everything is still the same, I would say. I have my trackers in here, um, affirmations, more stickers, still the same stickers that I've been using. Um, a die cut from the Planner Society kit. I added a dashboard of my husband and I and my kids are in the back, but my gratitude log is right there. So I've been using it a lot for May and then June. Um, these page flags are from the Planner Society and so is this die cut, uh, the kit. They're very pretty by the way. And um, I share a haul video for that if you want to see the May kit for the Planner Society. It's in my videos. And here are more of the freebies. As you can tell, I really like them. So I printed out a bunch. So I'm going to go to an empty page here um, for Stalogy. Okay, this, this is Stalogy paper. I was using um, dailies from SM Plans, which let me try to get in there. So here's some dailies from SM Plans I was using, and I switched into this. So I, going forward, I will be using Stalogy paper. There's pros and cons. It's really hard to like stick things on it because I almost rip it. As you know, the, the bound book for Stalogy is better than obviously using the paper because you're kind of tearing 
um, it sometimes. So I have some extra pages here. As you can see, it tore. Oh, okay, honey. And um, right here I have some extra paper. And then, um, sorry, my toddler's in the background. Um, I have this SM Plans um, Weekly. Here you go, honey. So um, I have an SM Plans Weekly here. So this is in grayscale. Um, I have an extra page here. I do use these every week and I use top three to do for the week um, to do the rest of the to do's for the week. And then in here, I always write down my meal plan. So um, that way I can look back on my weeks and see what we've eaten and if I need to change it up or something like that. So this is my morning intention section. That's why I put these like peaceful birds here, <laughs> you could say. But and in and, and in the back of the section there is my weekly reviews on Salogy paper. So those are private. Um, so I'm not really gonna share, you know, this is from Annie Plans uh more into it because they're just kind of private. So here I have some more sticky notes. Um the freebie memos still, and I kind of printed them wrong. And then a weekly tracker. This is a freebie too from Peanuts Planner Co. So in here, I just kind of track um, if I drink 60 ounces of water every day and then um, how much sun time I got, you know, just for vitamin D reasons. So here is a Peanuts Planner Co. weekly tracker. So as you can see, I've switched a lot to sticky notes because I'm, I don't have enough space. I would say space, but it's just a lot of paper. It's kind of annoying me. Um, a lot of sections, a lot of flipping. So sometimes I rely mostly on sticky notes and then I go back and I put things where they're supposed to go. So this is from Paper Shire. It's a freebie. So I printed it out into sticky notes, which I really have loved. So have my kids, I made them a few. So this is a brain dump section. This is a tab from the Planner Society kit. Um, everything is really private in this section. This is my dad's health section too. But the brain dump one has information in it that I don't want to necessarily throw away, but I'm just keeping there for a little bit and then I'm actually going to just chuck the whole section. I don't think I want my brain dump here and if I do, it has to be in Stalogy paper, like a thick chunk because I can't keep like fitting thick paper. It's not working. I think a lot of it's from the chunk from the daily too, the dailies I need to take out, but I like to keep at least a month at a time in my dailies. Okay, so these are post-it notes that are gray. Um, more from the Planner Society, a die cut. So here are more SM plans, uh, floral sticky notes. And then, yeah, here's this die cut is from the Planner Society and this pretty paper clip too. It's really pretty. So that's why I added some deco. Everything's still the same in here. Air fry recipes, breakfast ideas. Um, this is from SM plans, a grocery list grocery guide. So everything's still the same in here. I use it every week. Once a week, I write down our meals. Um, sometimes I get it. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes we do takeout, but it's just to have there. I'll leave it in this section and then I will get like um, a paper I'm going to throw away and write out the list that I need and just throw it out. Um, here is more paper shire freebies that I printed out on sticky notes. This is obviously a blue sticky note. Um, I added SM Plans floral sticky notes, and these are from the Planner Society kit. So this is my husband and my kids. I added a dashboard too. Um, I didn't do a very good job punching. I used my regular punch because I wasn't thinking. I was supposed to use my one hole punch. So I still have my kids' affirmations and my kids' pictures in here. And then I'm just planning birthday parties, um, adventures, Pinterest crafts, movies, books to read, wish lists, quiet time activities, notes, and then my daughters now have mood logs. So, and then I have a homeschool section here for my oldest. Notes in there, health. So doctor's visits from Peanuts Planner Co. is here. So I'll put my, my daughter or me, like our doctor visits there. Um, my husband has his own separate health section. And then, um, yeah, I have some old appointments here and notes, uh, medical info. So I use an insert for mess and plans and then health log. So I have my daughter's, mine, um, contact reference sheets from, um, Peanuts Planner Co. So I have that. And then, yeah, 
Um, so we get over here. This is now my husband's section. There's a honey-do list and his health, which I think I put a little tab, yeah, health in there. So that's obviously private, it's his stuff. Um, I do have contacts and contact reference sheets from Peanuts Planner Co. Doctor visits one, two in here, and then symptom tracker from SM Plans. So, okay, wow, that was a mouthful. So now we're in the journaling section. So in my journaling section, I use Stalogy paper. And let me just cover up a section real quick so I can show you these sticky notes. So these are from SM Plans. And then once again, a freebie from Paper Shire. I blew up and I just, you know, like I enlarged it. And um, yeah, I just made it larger. Um, I think you make it like three by three for post-its. And um, anyways, so here is my journaling. So, you know, I put pictures in there and stuff. Um, and then when you get over here, I just decorated some. Um, I need more paper, obviously, but it's so chunky. It's kind of hard to fit paper in. So that's a little frustrating. I do take things out and I transfer them to another set of rings. So clearly I have to do that, but I was saving it for the flip through so you guys could see it. Um, so then this is Annie plans. I have some lists. I still have an add to my planner list. Um, my planner info. Uh, this is all that's in my planner. Um, YouTube ideas. I have a YouTube schedule here, a wish list, and then a YouTube tracker. So I saw this on a bullet journal spread on YouTube. It was so pretty. So I kind of like drew my own. Um, yeah, I mean, just little doodles. So yeah. That's pretty much it. I have another, like I have a brain dump journal and that's pretty much it.